day, me and uh, Dennis, he was right there just a second ago. Uh, I'm not for sure where he went. Uh, he's over. See him right through there. But uh, I've got a uh, good signal. Dug through the roots and got whatever this is. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe part to a pocket knife or something. It's going to zoom in. There it goes. Doesn't have any writing on it. Of course, it was silver at one time. So. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Of course, I'm using the uh, 800 today. Uh, Debbie from Mine Lab, she let me borrow it uh, in Florida. And I brought it home and I was going to use it a couple of times here and then before I sent it back. See how I like the 800, so I'm using the uh, 6 inch coil. In this site, it's been hunted pretty hard. So if it pulls out a few flat buttons, then I can justify getting one. All right, <clears throat> this uh, 800. It's uh, picked out another one. A little uh, iron buckle. It's, uh, pretty neat. Probably horse tack, but you you can never tell. I know it's it's warmed up here in Middle Tennessee, and you know what that means. If it warms up, it's going to grow up. See Dennis right there. I don't know if he's found anything or not. I don't know. I'm going to walk over here and show you a pretty good little hole that uh, it's probably been four maybe five years ago when I first discovered the site uh, I was out here with a good friend of mine Ronnie Weatherford and I'd got a signal and dug down and the ground give away I mean it was just like just gone into a black hole and I was like whoa hold on a minute so I called him over and <clears throat> we got to investigating and if I can find it over here, like I said, it's pretty thick. Oh, I see it. If you're not careful, well, I've got to put something over it again. I had a, some limbs sticking out of it and had some covering it. But anyway, it goes, you can't tell. But it drops down probably about four feet. Then it just slides. It's dirt right there in the bottom right there at four feet. And it slides down. It turns into rock. So uh, we got a signal like right in here. Dug down. And then it just give away. Just a little bee hole. And then we got to investigating. And then it goes down that way. Probably another 40 feet. Then you can tell it cuts back this way. So. <clears throat> I haven't put anything in there. I know, uh, I think I've got some pictures of me and him. We climbed off in just a little ways to see what we could see, but that's probably just a, another sinkhole here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, but of course, this, uh, this tree right here, the roots is the only thing that's holding the ground up where I'm standing. And it comes out, I believe, or let me spin you around here without making you sick. I don't know if you can see through there, there's a an impression right there, and it's coming this way, so. And this farm, it's full of sinkholes. Try not to step on a snake. I didn't wear any bug spray. I'm sure these ticks are gonna eat me up.
Well, I'm gonna get off of the corner here where I can't really get out. He's down up under this. Sorry about all the road noise. We've got we're close to a main highway. That used to be open a little bit more. And I say it's just a cave system that goes all the way through there. And it's just giving in just a little bit at a time here and there. Mm. Big spider. <laughs> I guess I probably scared him about as bad as he scared me. And here was a big old tree at one time. That buddy of mine that discovered that sinkhole with me, uh, he found a, uh, I think it was a 1830s, uh, I think half real around this base of this tree. So, it'd been there a long time. I don't know if I've ever been back around it or not. He, he hunted it pretty hard that day after he found that real. It was a great time. This is a good summer place. Of course, right of here, it doesn't grow up that much because of the... Uh, doesn't get that much sunlight for the uh, uh, canopy. And then these little dead limbs, you can just break them right off. Or they'll stick you in the eye and it'll break off that way. But I'd rather just break them off with my hand. up here Dennis if he's got anything right, right in this little spot I found Civil War uh, stuff uh, well, Civil War relics and uh, colonial relics and uh, World War II relics from the maneuvers uh, War of 1812 relics so it's been a good little site the land is for sale now and I'm going to keep watching it so maybe whoever buys it, if it ever sells because of the sinkholes, but whoever buys it, maybe they'll clean some of this up. Oh, I heard Dennis hollering. My hair, he's got a button. I can't believe I'm shaking over a button. <laughs> good deal. Man, that's a good button too. Yeah, brass, I believe. That's going to be, that's a tomback button. Uh, I would, in I the 1700s. A little greenish for a tomback though, isn't it? Well, see, it just depends on what a, uh, the soil conditions like well it may not be yeah you're right most of the time back it, it, rang, it rang up like a penny okay, okay. So all right yeah once once i got <laughs> under the roots <laughs> oh yeah there's there's a few over. roots i fished all over for that thing i, mean, I bet you did i've got a I couple mean, of brass pieces that i fished for tangled mess in there yeah <laughs> Well, this whole area, it's a pretty much tangled mess, but... Yeah, there's stuff in there. I got a spoon bowl, too. Do you? Yeah, iron what is spoon it? bowl. Is it iron? Yeah. Okay. And, and an iron ring. Yeah, I've got an iron uh, buckle, uh, 
couple of brass pieces. And one piece, I think, maybe a side to a pocket knife. I don't know. Oh, nice. I'll get out and say. Well, I'm going to get off here and get back to hunting. I haven't got any buttons yet, but I've got another uh, iron buckle. So, still works. I'll throw it in the uh, iron buckle box. And yeah, it's turned out to be a nice day. Uh, I'm scared uh, with the heat of the day coming up. We're going to be running from some thunderstorms. It is what it is. Uh, I'm just not going to be like seven uh, metal detecting out in the middle of the lightning storm. I think we'll set in the truck. Yeah. Alrighty, I'll get back with you. Now right here's a decent find. That's a, probably about the widest old iron I've ever found, but it's got a crack in it but of course it's missing the handle as most of the time all of them are but it's still a pretty good find use that as a uh, door prop or a uh, uh, anchor to a boat I don't know I'll use it for something it'll display pretty good all right, it was right up under that big rock. Got a signal, and then of course I just walked uh, to the big hole just to see how it worked on this 800. It was under that rock, so pretty good find. All right, well we left the other site and uh, got on the road. Went about from here to. Uh, that big cedar tree right there. The truck started acting funny and bouncing up and down doing all this. And I was like, man, tell me I've got a flat tire. Sure enough, I uh, had a flat tire on the back driver's side. And oh, look at that. Imagine that. That lame ticks. But uh, anyway, we. Uh, Pulled over on the side of the road, and luckily there was some guys, they were out in their yard, and they was like, well, you can just bring it up here and put it on the concrete slab, and we've got jacks and everything, so we, we ended up getting the tire changed, but in the meantime, uh, buddy of ours, Mark, he was waiting on us uh, here in town close to mine, and I called and told him, I said, well, we'll be a few, and he brought us up to one of his Civil War sites after we got here. And, I'd found a, so far, found a few uh, 22 bullets, a uh, couple of pieces of uh, miscellaneous lead, and, and this is my first little bullet. I don't know. If, come on, zoom in there. Come on, zoom in. There you go. Uh, a little 30-something caliber pistol bullet so, but, but I don't it's pretty it's pretty neat in here I run up on this little indention I don't know if you can tell much about it but I don't know if it's where a tree uprooted or what right here I mean, that's pretty deep I hadn't hit it yet and then I just now noticed something as I was looking around Watching out for copperheads. This is a good place for them. Now I don't need to get snake bit. I, on my birthday, I already had a uh, flat tire. Look here, this old road bed. So, cuts down through there. You can see the where it was lined with rock at one time. So there's no telling what's in this little area. I know there were several thousand troops here during the Civil War, so. You gotta have some pits somewhere. Maybe I found one, or maybe not.
Let's go check it out. All right, I guess today's buckle day for me. I found uh, two at the other site and got this one right here. Pretty neat little buckle. I'm not sure if it's been broke. No, no, it hadn't. I'm not sure what that would have went on. I've seen them before, but can't really remember what they went on. But decent little find. I did find another little pistol bullet. I think it was right there. Oh, ease my way down to that road. See if I can find anything in that road. Alright, right here's a neat little find. I believe it's a uh, water valet. It's got the little dimple in the back. Of course, it said something pretty good. This camera's going to zoom in. There it goes. Nice Civil War bullet. I was walking along, of course, uh, Dennis called. Well, he texted me and said that uh, he was ready to go. And uh, I stumbled across this. It goes, let's see how far. It looks like it goes pretty good ways. I hear water. As if he. Those are pretty good ways. Huh. There's a good tree for a rope. Well, maybe you got these rocks stacked up around it. I wonder if that was... They'd get in there and get water. Oh, and some of these rocks, they look... They've been laid. Some cut rock. I'll have to come back and uh, investigate this. Looks pretty neat. 